The foot lever foot levelers Blue Ridge Marathon is this weekend. There's also a half marathon and a 10K. And of course, these races are known for their difficulty running up and down some of the biggest mountains in the region. But I found a runner who has even more to conquer. Sunrise on a chilly spring morning. A group of runners is pushing themselves on the Roanoke River Greenway. Men and women of various ages and abilities. And other than running on this particular morning, they have something else in common. All of them are now, or were recently, homeless. I've been an addict all of my adult life, and uh, I found myself homeless uh, 14 months ago. Um, had nowhere to go, I had no direction, and until I actually surrendered myself completely, and I had to change my way of thinking, I had to change everything about me. Danny White had it all. Fast cars, a family, including a wife and now two grown daughters. But he couldn't stay away from alcohol and harder drugs. He tells me he used crack cocaine daily. Being an addict, uh, one of the things that, that happens is we uh, tend to not finish what we started uh, because of our addiction. And now the drugs and alcohol are out of my life. You know, I can concentrate on you know, just getting back into the mainstream of life. Now 14 months into recovery at the Roanoke Rescue Mission, where he works in the kitchen, he tells me of staying under a bridge when it was just 10 degrees outside. No wonder then that running on a chilly morning doesn't seem to be that big a task. Well, I mean, it's like anything else. Running is just like my recovery. You have to do a little bit at a time, and you know, you have to get adjusted to it. I mean, you, you don't start off and, and run the you know Mill Mountain completely the first time. You know, it's a little bit at a time, and and that's the way it is with my recovery. I have to take, you know, one day at a time. Danny and members of his group run with a volunteer named Tammy Wiley, who's been leading these early morning jaunts twice a week for about eight years. I seen some other gentlemen when I first came in that were doing it, and I asked them about it, and I was introduced to Tammy, and uh, uh, she asked me if I wanted to join it, and I said, sure. Now, it was a struggle at first because, you know, I, you know, I have to build up some stamina, of course, and. But now it's it's a it's just a, it's not it's just fun. I enjoy it. It's not it's not a chore. Now Danny runs three miles or so every other day, and he's training to run the Star 10K, one of the races offered this weekend in association with the Foot Levelers Blue Ridge Marathon. He'll have to run to the Roanoke Star and back. A challenge he says is not unlike the one he faces daily as he tries to stay sober and turn his life around. And running helps me, you know, not only it helps me physically, it helps me mentally, and, and it's just a great, it's a big part of my life here. And by the way, Carillion is supporting uh, the various runs in many ways, one of which is underwriting the cost of the entry fees for runners like Danny and members of the running team at the rescue mission. I want to remind you to be sure to tune in Thursday night at 7.30. We'll have a special on the marathon. I'll be live from the finish line in downtown Roanoke.